One of my favorite times is when By Nature Gallery comes on. And joining me now in the studio is Jennifer Burwell. How Good are you morning. doing this morning? Good, how are you? Oh, doing great. Thank you so much for coming in. You always, my pleasure. You bring the coolest things with you every time. Yeah, you know, just like to give you a little teaser of all the oh, yeah. special things we have in the gallery. Well, and uh, for those who don't know, By Nature Gallery is the coolest place. I it's for kids, adults, I don't care what your age is, it is just fascinating. I'm always honored when people come in and tell me, "You know, this is our favorite store. You know, the first <laughs> thing we do when we get here is have to come to By Nature Gallery." Yeah. Um it just it's so funny that um, not funny, it's wonderful that we've found this special place in everybody's heart that yep. they have to come in. We have a kids section, so fun things for the kids to explore through. We like mm -hmm. to make it educational. The things start at just 25 cents for little crystals and oh, fossils. Cool. Um, going up to the big full real dinosaur skeleton and we've got fun jewelry and then meteorites and petrified wood and wow. huge geodes and everything. So it's a really special place. It really is and the neat thing is is that just how nature and art are combined. Yeah. And one thing that when you came in today, uh, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce what you said this was. <laughs> this is an ammonite. So ammonite, there ammonites we go. lived 350 million years ago wow. to 65 million years ago, died okay. off with the dinos. Okay. So this is an ammonite. It was a squid-like creature that lived in the shell. Okay. Um, sim similar to the nautilus, which is still alive. Mm -hmm. Nautilus were also around at the same time. They they mm. survived somehow. Oh, there we go. Um, but yeah, just really beautiful creature. It was a chambered shell. Mm -hmm. So they would keep the shell. Um, hollow and fill it with gases to help them float or fill it with water to help them sink. Wow, just like a submarine. Yeah. And I, I just have to spin this over yeah. because not only does yeah, it have the nice, it. pretty, sh shiny side, but the pattern on the back of this, it looks like somebody did this by hand, but th that's natural. Yeah, people often think that it's some sort of leaf fossil or something else yeah. that's on there. So the other side was the shell. This is one layer deeper, so the shell has been removed. Okay. And we call these squiggly lines suturing, suture patterns. Suture and it's patterns. basically where the chamber wall connected to the outer shell layer. Ah, so that okay. complex pattern is wow. just the edge of the chamber wall. And people that study these creatures can actually tell the age based on the suture patterns. That is unbelievable. Yeah. Well, after we go to this, then we have to go to some of our minerals and yes. crystals and everything else. And another thing you brought in Yeah, today, this beautiful. is a celestite geode from okay. Madagascar. Just beautiful, kind of pale blue. Mm -hmm. um, just one of our many cool geodes. We've got amethyst and citrine and um, different geodes from Utah and Morocco and all oh. sorts of wonderful places that are all sorts of amazing colors. Yeah. Um, but this one is just so sparkly and pretty. It's really kind of a muted color, but it's just, it's so gorgeous and it really mm. pops on the shelf next to all of our purples and oranges and everything that we have. Oh so. yeah. Well, and this would be beautiful on a coffee table or under yeah. a piece of art in somebody's yeah. home. Yeah, and the, the cool thing, if I try not to scratch your table here, <laughs> oh, yes. the, the outside is just kind of ugly rock. That's just the outside of the geode. And then the inside's all these amazing crystals. Never and judge a book is, by its cover. Yeah, this is how they find it. And they, they you know, dust off, they clean off the crystals. But mm -hmm. all the points and everything like that of the crystals, that's all natural. They haven't gone in there and cut and faceted the stone. Wow. Yeah. Well, we only have a, a little bit left, but want to touch on the last thing. I love bugs. Yeah. Quick, and quick all, taste of our yes. home decor. I brought in some cicadas. These are from Thailand. We've got all sorts of beautiful butterflies and, and bugs and some really big butterfly cases as well. Um, they're really lovely when they're locked in glass they, and, and not <laughs> flying around your house. in your trees. Exactly. <laughs> if people wanted to come and see the gallery, yeah. hang out, how could they, uh, where, the, where would they go? We are just up the steps from the ice rink in Beaver Creek Village by the uh, Winterfest platform, just okay. kind of up the steps off of the main level. And we are open today and tomorrow from 10 a.m. until I think 7 or 8 p.m. Wonderful. Closed on Christmas Day and then open again first thing the day after Christmas. Worth the trip over no matter where you are in the valley. Head yeah. to Beaver Creek and meet Jennifer, see all the cool stuff. We're going to take it over to Mark now with weather and the last little bit of Good Morning Vale.